So what's good guys, it's uh, Friday, June 2nd, and here I am with my 2015 Subaru WX. All cleaned up and tires shined and car looking sharp. Which is just the way we all like our cars. Just gonna kinda do a pan around the car. Lately I've been kinda going too fast around the car with my camera, so I'm just gonna try to slow it down a little bit and just take things a little bit slower. But the exhaust tip's nice and clean. Someday I'll probably add F1 style uh, rear brake light if I ever feel like it. Uh, I just did the spray wax today because it was really hot today. It was about 86 degrees today. At least that's going to be the high today, but right now it's uh, a little bit cooler than that. But as you can see, car's looking sharp. Nice and clean. The uh, interior always pretty spiffy. I usually never have anyone in the back seat, so that's always pretty clean. But anyways, uh, one thing I wanted to talk about was uh, water bottles. So as you know, the WRX is kind of a sporty car. And uh, I got this water bottle here, which kind of matches my car a little bit. My car is a little bit uh, light, uh, darker blue. But anyways, this water bottle here, uh, which my girlfriend got for me from Amazon, is an Avex uh, brand. And uh, it's uh, all glass. It's got a silicone sleeve, so if you were to drop it, uh, it's supposed to be shatterproof. Uh, the lid is stainless steel, and there's no plastic and BPA free. Uh, this in here is actually just a gasket. It's a silicone uh, gasket. It's a nice looking water bottle. Uh, you can get it at Amazon for 20 bucks, depending on what color you get. I like the blue because it matches my car, but there's all kinds of different colors. Uh, but I just want to talk about that because the thing is, uh, today with the uh, water bottles, you know, you spend a lot of money um, purchasing like a case of water and you're paying for the plastic. And then this, what you could do is you could just buy this and then buy water by the gallon. Another thing I want to talk about is I've been drinking distilled water. And what I've noticed about distilled water is uh, it kind of helps uh, clean your system more and keep things. Uh, better, at least I, I feel it flows better as you drink it. And uh, I've tried all kinds of, you know, fancy waters, you know, whether it be uh, the more expensive brands, uh, Aquafina. Uh, let's see, there's all kinds. I just I just can't think of it right now because it's kind of hot outside. But I've been drinking this. You can get this at Target. Uh, right now it's been on sale for like I think like 94 cents a gallon. And so you buy these and you refill that, and that's what I've been doing. So just wanted to talk about that. So it's a nice looking bottle. I kind of like it. Uh, it's good if you're into working out. I work out every day, so it's a nice looking uh, thing. Got a little carrying strap here, and it is 20 ounces, so it holds uh, about a little bit more than an average water bottle, which an average water bottle holds 16 ounces, but it holds 20 ounces. So as for the car, fire out, oh man, it's on fire in here. Ooh, hot. Uh, car's doing awesome. 33,140 miles as you can see. Uh, still running the Cobb Access port. Uh, stage 1 93 Octane Teen from MMA Performance. And uh, definitely the go-to team and what I've been always running. And I'm uh, very happy with it. So anyways, I just kind of wanted to make this kind of a multi-video. So I wanted to show you the water bottle. I also show you the car's doing awesome. Uh, happy with it. Uh, after getting it back from the dealer, they had to tighten the uh, trans mount uh, brace, which uh, fixed uh, my issue with uh, my changing of gears, which I thought was the pit stop racket, but luckily it wasn't. So I thought I'd just do a quick little drive and then I would go on from there and then I'll probably close out the video and see you guys uh, probably next time. So I'll see you guys soon. As the water bottle fits snugly in the, uh, the cup rest in the 2015 Super Bowl And it's quiet too, like there's no metal sound. So it's got this silicone uh, sleeve on it, which makes it quiet. So, all right, back to the drive. See you guys on the road. Come on guys, why don't I some flat foot shifting, hang on. always enjoying this car just love driving it and doing those pulls it's just the way it is and another thing i noticed is the summertime uh i know uh, another youtuber who's got a uh, pretty popular channel uh, ninja x bar he was doing a uh, boost test and uh, the highest i've gotten was 22.1 and that was with the map tune uh with the reset recently and uh, basically what i noticed is when it's hotter out 
you do boost more. And uh, this was on a hotter day where I did this. I basically went through, I think I want to say I went through the first three gears all the way red line, every single gear. And uh, it reached 22.1. So I don't know if you can see that, but that was uh, what mine reached uh, not too long ago. So that was my test. And uh, I guess, like I said, uh, I know he's in Canada, so I know it's probably a little bit cooler there still right now. But uh, next time it gets warmer out there, if you're watching, try try it on a warmer day. Just run through like the first three gears, or at least try to hold a gear and just hold that hold it in, the, in that gear all the way to red line, and then see if you can maybe put down a better number. I'm just gonna leave it on this and do a suck gear pull if uh, no lift shifts. So hang on, guys. That just sounds freaking amazing. <laughs> it's like each gear, it just like sounds just like, like a spaceship, dude. It's badass. I love it. So, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, you know, you just always enjoy this car when you just try different things. So, the access board. That's another thing. Uh, it took me a long time. It took me two years to finally get one. And then when I finally thought about it, I was like, I don't know. I was worried about warranty. And then now, like, I got it. And it's just like, man, I just never want to go back. It's just like, it's just a huge, huge difference. And, the drivability, everything is just so improved over uh, the stock tune. Like the drivability of the stock tune, like every time, and I even tested the stock tune recently when I took my car to the dealer. So when you take off in first gear, like it's so easy to be rough. So here I'm gonna take off and it's just, it's just so smooth. There's like, the transition is just badass. Dude. It's just like, no matter what you do, it's just, the car just does exactly what you want it to do. And I love it, so. Definitely a nice, a nice thing to have is the access part. So it improves the drivability. Obviously, the power. I mean, the the power, like especially the MA performance of stage one two, it just sucks you into your seat. And the power delivery is just like amazing. Like such a huge difference. Every night when I leave my girlfriend's house, every single day when I go on go towards my house on the back road, I do a second gear pull, and it just makes such a huge difference over the uh, what what the. Uh, uh, stock tune does so yeah I love it. I'm just gonna do a U-turn here so I'm gonna avoid oh, your off 59. So yeah those of you guys I know a lot of Metro Scarbers uh, actually live in my area so I'm in the Plainfield area but I kind of stick to the back roads and avoid Route 59 because that's where all the cops hang out and stuff so I got some traffic so I will uh first gear you're just so used to letting off the throttle so it's hard to forget not to when you're using the no lift shift it's just like it's just it's a hard thing to remind myself to uh just remember to let off the, or to just stay on the throttle but it's just like it's something you're just not used to so it's easy to screw it up and i do it all the time it's like out of all the gears it's always first gear where i accidentally uh let off the throttle it is because i'm also so I'm turning so all right, full throttle, head lift. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, car is awesome, doing great. The transmission's great. Uh, I'm so thankful that the pit stop bracket was fine. You know, I'm, I think I'm just gonna take a break from launches because that thing really scared me, dude. If they were to pull out my engine, I knew my car would be the same, but I would have to sell my car or trade it in. So I'm just gonna maybe take a little bit more easy, just still do the pulls, which I always do, but just don't launch my car. Just take a little break from that and wait till I get that pit stop bracket, uh, the pair in a pit stop race, and then uh, hopefully from then on, I'll probably do some other things. I was also thinking of like, getting a strut tower base, and other things that kind of just improve the handling because I know this car does understeer when you're doing certain turns and that's why I'm not really into like doing those uh, back roads where you're going fast because I just don't want to risk things. I mean all the time I've seen where an all-wheel drive car like they're taking the turn too fast and then basically it's going to understeer and then you're basically going to either go into a tree or something worse so it's just like it's just not worth the risk. That's why I just tend to do my pulls on a straight line and uh, I'll just keep on doing that basically so. I'm gonna start off at first because I love starting off first. All right. Man, that is quick. Very quick. So yeah, just 
just wanted to make a quick update. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make a video this weekend. I'm going to be busy with things. Uh, I'm going to be doing things with my girlfriend, and uh, so I decided to do it Friday. I took free time today. So, uh, again, this water bottle is awesome. I love it. Uh, you don't have to get the same brand, but just check Amazon. They got a lot of varieties, and you can also do like free shipping on a lot of the items. So, I guess I'm making a commercial for Amazon now. But uh, I, overall, it's just like I like it, and it just saves you money. And the thing is, like, it's a health thing too. Like, when you drink out of a glass bottle, it's a lot better than drinking out of a plastic bottle. So. I uh, just thought to add that because uh, it was something that my girlfriend got me and I wanted to uh, kind of make a commercial for that, so to show my appreciation. And then Alexandra, if you're watching, I appreciate it. So thank you for the cool gift. And I use it every day. I go to the gym a lot and it's perfect. It's like 20 ounces, so it holds more than your average water bottle and it's nice. So anyways, uh, as you guys know, uh, I will uh, continue making videos and uh, doing these polls. That's just my... Uh, basically, that's just what I do for my videos. Pulls and show cars and do whatever else I could do to entertain you guys. And that's what I do every day. So, I uh, just want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the likes, subscriptions. And if you ever have a question or comment, feel free to leave me one. And uh, because I'm behind, uh, it looks like I'm going to be behind traffic. So, I'll cut the video. So, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you guys around.